Hi, this is Mark with Shellrock. I'm going to show you how to use the Web Pro to access your system and to make some changes. Web Pro is great for getting into the system and making little changes like adding buttons and changing names and things like that. Where PC Pro is used for the initial install and when you're making large changes or you need to see an overview of the entire system. But Web Pro it's just a GUI interface that is really handy to make most changes after the system is already installed. So go find your favorite browser and put in the IP address of the system. Hit enter. Here is your login screen and you're going to use the login to get into the actual programming of the phone system. So mine is here, my name and then the password. Click login. I am in the system now, and most of this you won't ever use. Most of it is just going to be the system data. System data is where all the programming is stored. So click on system data. You get in there, you can notice it's just like PC Pro. You've got your headers, main headers here, and then your sub programming uh, below that as we expand and collapse the plus and minus signs. So I'm here. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to show you how to do some live programming. We're just going to add a, a quick button to a phone or two. So for, to do that, I'm going to go to Extension Setup, expand it, and go to Program 1507, Function Keys. I'm, I'm there, and what I'm seeing here, I am currently looking at extension 1101, which is a multi-line telephone. It's Joe Smith's, and he's on port 1. If I scroll down, I can go to another extension. These are single lines down here. There's probably some there's the voicemails. And I can scroll up again to his this phone here. I'm on function key 1 right here and I can see the first 16 on this particular screen. You have up to 48 buttons. Most systems though the phones are just 24 so if you go to say function key 10 now you can see 10 through 25 and there's the 24th button, the last button bottom uh, right on the phone. Alright, let's go back to button 1, function key 1, hit the little search button there. So here I am. Um, in this particular case, let's say I have button function key 9 on my phone and I want to make it a one-touch DSS key to see the guy a couple cubicles down from me or in maybe another office. So here we go. Here's my options and there's my DSS one-touch key and I can put an extension number. Let's say I will do 1103 and hit say or hit apply and that save has taken place. That's all I need to do. It's a live uh, program change and the phone is ready to go. So on button 9 it's a DSS key and if extension 1101 lifts up their handset and makes a phone call it will light up red on my phone. And it's also a one touch key. If I press it on my phone it will call extension 1103. If I wanted to copy that to another user, let's say the guy next to me 1102 wants, wants that same key right there. I can go, if I wanted to, I could go and do a copy. I'm currently on extension 1101 and I want to copy it to 1102. I can click on that one phone or I could click on multiple phones if I wanted to. In this case, we're just going to do one. I can select all the keys or I can just select the number 9 that I'm working on. And I can hit apply and that has taken place. So if I go to 1102, you can see the function key is there that I copied it. And it's a live program change. I'm going to go ahead and just remove it. Hit apply. It's taken place. Move to another phone. Can remove it. Hit apply. 
it's taking place. If I go to basic settings, this is like the form view in the PC Pro. I'm just looking at this one phone here, 1101 or 1100, this is the virtual key. But if I go to 1101, this is the actual phone where I changed the name earlier. And that's my initial form view. And I have to pull down each phone and I'm going to see their programming. I could copy a particular line to all the phones if I wanted to, just like I did on the function keys. When you're done, be sure to click the home screen and be sure to log out to go back to your initial screen. If you forget to log out and then you need to get in with your PC Pro, it can hose the system up a little bit. You have to wait for it to time out. That is basically it on the uh, Web Pro. It gives you a, a good view of what it looks like con uh, compared to the PC Pro. If you have any questions, just give us a holler here at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shotrock.com, S-H-O-T-R-O-K.com.